All right, so this video um, I'm recording simply because I know a lot of you are using um, computers that, that don't have a lot of hard disk space to store uh, these full HD um, clips that come straight off the GoPro. So uh, what you are probably going to need to be doing is taking these clips straight off uh, your, your SD card from the GoPro and putting them onto an external hard drive or a USB stick or something along those lines. Um, just to give you an idea, if you took an, an hour of full HD footage off a GoPro, it's going to probably be like uh, around 14 gig. So it's quite large. Um, but the beauty of what you're doing, these, these longer clips, um, is you, you don't really need to keep them for an extended period of time. You can delete them pretty soon after. Um, the idea behind using these, these sort of uh, devices like the GoPros is that you take a lot of short clips um, so if you yeah so you don't generally take like full hour long um, video clips even though you can do that if you need to so I'm just gonna really quickly show you how to do that um, and we are not I repeat not going to be using iPhoto or photos as it's called now um, we're going to be using something called image capture so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here on the little uh, magnifying glass and I'm going to type in image capture you can see it comes up and I'm going to click on that. All right, so you'll see the one that says no name is the one that's come out of my GoPro. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this program to pull those videos and photos. Um, yes, I've taken some photos as well. Um, to take all that off the that SD card and put it onto my external hard drive. So I'm going to select all the ones I want. I just went around the room before and, and took some videos of my kids working on their robotics and all of them here so I'm going to click on the top one and press shift and click on the bottom one or you could just go command A and it will select them all and I'm going to change where it imports it to so see it says import to I can click here and if I choose other I get the full option of where I want to save it so I'm going to put it on untitled and I'm going to put it on a new folder called um, class robotics okay so that's the folder I'm going to put it in I click choose and you'll see it now says class robotics down there that's the folder I just did when I'm ready all I've got to do is just click import if you click choose import all it will take everything that's on that card on there and it could be heaps of other stuff from other teachers who knows um, but I'm just going to click import all right that's just about complete and we can have a look at where that saved it to. If I jump in here, go to Untitled, and choose, where is it, Class Robotics. You can see they've all appeared there. And if I just click on one and hit the space bar, you can see uh, what's been recorded. Okay. Um, so the very last thing that I wanted to just point out, if this is something that you're going to be doing a lot of, if you're going to be pulling a lot of video and things off um, off your GoPro and you're going to be putting them onto an external hard drive or a USB stick, I suggest that you keep image capture in your dock. So if you go right click on that, go to options, keep in dock. So now when I close the application, it will still stay there. See, notice that there's no dot underneath it. That means it's closed, but it's sitting in your dock. Okay. And one last option that I wanted to point out as well, if I click over here, um, I can set the default program to open. So I can actually tell it to automatically open image capture when this device is plugged into my computer. And what I can also do is tell it to delete each of those files once it's been imported. Okay, and the way I got to that was just to click that little arrow there. Okay, that's a handy little tool as well so that you don't end up clogging up your GoPro with heaps of, heaps of data. Okay. Hopefully that's helped. If you do have any questions, give us a yell. Have a great day.